from you. Mama. Come here. Come here. I want you to sing a song with me. I would be real quick to grab him and clutch him okay. on me. All right. Huh? I'd be pleased to sing if you just quit t- grabbing and clutching. I know it's the meanest man that's ever lived. Don't get close to him, girl, since the show's over. Run for home, hard as you can go. Sure. Get out as fast as you can. He's wearing a new aftershave lotion called Come and Get It. <laughs> See there, it don't bother me none. I got me on a new perfume called I wouldn't know what to do with it if I got it. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. As you can see today, another addition to the fleet. This particular one was bought on a, on a whim. It wasn't, it wasn't something I was aggressively looking for. It's uh, one of the cars on my list of cool cars when I was in high school or cool cars while I was in the Army and didn't have the available funds to acquire said cars. It's a long list, let me tell you. And it's got stuff on there like MR2s and Nissan 300ZXs and classic minis and Dodge Vipers. The, uh, what's that other one called? The uh, Chrysler Crossfire or some, some, somebody made the Crossfire. I think it was Chrysler. Um, all very nifty cars. Uh, definitely out of my price range at the time, but now through time, all these cars are coming way down in price. There's a couple exceptions, but for the most part, these have been loved by their original owners, driven regularly, and in some cases, because of the, the number of years on them, they've got a lot of uh, miles or kilometers on the odometer. Uh, case in point, this one is north of 100,000 miles. But original owner, I bought it, loved it, has like the made for this make and model uh, car cover for it, kept it in a barn the whole time I drove it, Uh, but at some point it became his commuter car to get to work, and that racked up a lot of miles. It was parked just down the street in my neighborhood and had a little for sale sign on it. He wanted way too much for it, and so I took a look at it, you know, didn't call the guy, but just looked at it on the side of the road. And when I saw what he was asking for it, I thought that even the the delta between what he was asking and what it was reasonably worth was too great. And sometimes you can't meet people in the middle. And so I just let it alone. And then it popped up on Craigslist. Again, this is this is on my list, and that's a no bullshit list. It's uh, a set of search queries with some Boolean logic that I check on a regular basis on Craigslist uh, for cars that I, again, want to want to own at some point. And if you've got patience and cash, again, we're paying cash for cars here. So uh, if you've got the patience, then you can wait. And when the perfect deal pops up, you grab it. And in this case, he posted it on Craigslist with a reasonable price. So once I realized that it was the same exact person and that the price was reasonable, I reached out to him and said, hey, I live just down the street. Let's uh, get together and let's take a look at it. And long story short, obviously, I picked it up, and I got it for exactly what I figured the car was worth at the time, and it came with a made-for-the-Pontiac Solstice uh, car cover. So unlike some of the other things that you guys have seen on the channel here, it doesn't need to be fixed. It's running, it's working, the fucking, it's got OnStar and a bunch of other fancy things, so it doesn't need fixing in the uh, the way that I usually find good deals but it does need a few things that to bring it a more modern sense of a car like LED headlights or uh, a an upgraded stereo of course even though this one's got XM and that all that jazz it's a slightly larger double din and I'll be probably swapping that thing out with a, a little bracket and a proper double din in there so that I can get um, Bluetooth and sat nav and all that other jazz. So that brings us to the point of this video today. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to be removing <laughs> this headlight. Uh, it needs it. It needs it because all of this is faded here. That's normal clear stuff. 
this is typical plastic fading that you get from a car of this age. This area was spared because it's a bit, a bit of an angle, so it doesn't take that direct heat. And underneath or behind that plastic is a, uh, a highly reflective piece of chrome or plastic that has some chrome uh, like vapor deposition or whatever they call that where they've actually like cleaned chrome onto that plastic and so of course it's it's both hitting directly with the sun and it's bouncing back off and irradiating heat on the back side of this so this is the first place to go I'll probably do another video where we clean this up there's some really simple stuff you can do um, to bring back some of the shine that's here but today we're gonna take a look at upgrading these two LED lights. So here we'll try and do a before and after, and it's gonna be both the fog lights and the headlights if I can get to them today, but definitely the headlights because they're the easiest to get to. They don't revolve any screws to come out. And we're gonna be doing it with a kit like this. You've seen these things from eBay. They are, they're drop-in replacements for, in this case, H13. Uh, style bulbs and they've got really decent emitters and uh, some beefy heat sinks in this case a very creative use of these uh, braided steel lines and I bought these because on the photo they had a picture of they had a picture of like a bit of material that came over these this set of LEDs like on the low beams and that gave me the impression that there was a like a cutoff a, an attempt to create like a cutoff here and that's why I went with these but the ones that actually shipped they don't have that at all so we'll see how they do in there let's uh, get them in and take a look So here we're looking at the before, and there's the after, or at least for the headlights. Let's take a crack at the fog lights. So what we're going with is a really simple set of LED fog lights here. There's the after for headlights and fog lights. You can see off in the distance. Let me turn this bit. You can see the the comparison here. It's definitely a lot cooler, a lot whiter. It's like a wh white light. The hint of blue. Let me try and get the f-stop going. Here we go. So, just the slightest hint of blue there, but you can tell it's like old, like horse and buggy bullshit over here, and then like more modern stuff over here. A lot nicer. All right, well, if you've enjoyed watching a guy replace light bulbs and you'd like to see more things like that, uh, hit the subscribe button, maybe the like button, and stay tuned for another one of Julian's random projects. Yeah,